Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rantoul. I am Chris Foster here for HSSportsLive.net. Thank you for joining us tonight on our live broadcast on www.hsportslive.net. Tonight, our matchup is the Rantoul Eagles against the Eureka Hornets, a Corn Belt Conference matchup. Rantoul will be moving to the Oka Valley next year, but they will be facing Eureka tonight, an old Corn Belt foe. We were in Rantoul earlier this year in November where they defeated the Monticello Sages, who are a future Oka opponent. But it's been a while since we've done a broadcast here on HSSportsLive.net. Uh, a little bit of flu going around, and of course with this nasty weather that we've been having here in central Illinois, a lot of games have been canceled, or it's just not been possible to make it out to some of them. So thank you for joining us here tonight. I hope you're uh, someplace warm and cozy and uh, watching on the computer. And you can tune in here to our broadcast tonight. Again, it's the Eureka Hornets and the Rantoul Eagles. Battling out here tonight on hssportslive.net. We'll be back in just a minute with your starting lineups. Welcome back here to Rand Tools. They're announcing the uh, starting lineups now for the visiting Eureka. The first one was Cooper Scherer. Phil Schmidgall is the second starter. Their center is number 44, Kent Heinrichsen. Number 30, Kyle Hardy, a six-foot, two-inch senior at one guard. And their other guard, Tate Toffer, number 40, is the other guard for the Eureka Hornets. See Eureka there doing a little pregame ritual in their huddle. Let's hear the starting lineups for your Rantoul Eagles. So Kenyatta Wilson, a sophomore, six foot two, forward for the Eagles. Cavante Williams. Williams is the freshman sensation for the Eagles. Talon Harden had a very good game when we were here uh, earlier when they faced Monticello in November. Number 22, Tanner McLean. And then Johnny Jones is rounding out the starting lineup for your Rantoul Eagles. So again, thank you for joining us here on HSSportsLive.net. I am Chris Foster, running solo tonight, so I'm running video and audio, so I hope you'll bear with me tonight as we're getting things together. Coach for Rantoul is A.J. Richard, coach for Tim for Eureka is Tim Meese. The Eagles come in in this game with 11 wins and 10 losses. Again, the starters for Eureka, Phil Schmidgall, Kyle Hardy, Tate Toffer, Kit, Kent Heinrichsen, Cooper Scher. There's the starters for Eureka. On the Rantoul side, we have Talon Harden, Tanner McLean, Kenyatta Wilson, Johnny Jones, and Cavante Williams. So those are our 10 players that will be starting off on the floor here in Rantoul. So we're getting close to tip off here. Here we go now, ready for the tip off here in Rantoul. It's going to be Kyle Hardy jumping against Cavante Williams. The jump is up and it goes to the Hornets. They're going to set up their offense now. Nice pass inside, a dangerous pass, but it got to him. Now a little bit of a drive. Now a look inside there for Heinrichsen. It doesn't happen. Now Johnny Jones bringing it another way for Rantoul. He goes up. It's blocked, recovered there. That was Kenyatta Wilson on the bucket for Rantoul, and they come right out with a press. Eureka breaks the press, but they're going to call over and back as he wasn't quite over the line yet. So a turnover by the Hornets. So the pressure actually works here for the Eagles. So they're able to get a turnover from Eureka. Now Rantoul will try to run their offense. Outside there to Jones. Jones going to take a little elbow jumper off the mark. No good. Rebounded out of there, though, by Williams. And he puts it up and in. Cavante Williams with a nice bucket. Now the press continues here by the Eagles. See if Eureka can have better luck this time. They get it across the timeline, and now they're going to try to set up their offense. Kyle Hardy with the ball gets it across there to Schmidgall. 
Hardy and Schmidgall just tossing the ball back and forth here near the top of the court. Now a little bit of a trap, but Schmidgall is able to get out of it. Hardy now with the ball at the top of the key. Back to Schmidgall. Hardy's going to think about a three, and he throws it back to Schmidgall. He looks inside. Oh, obviously, actually crosses the court. Sorry about that. Schmidgall now with the ball. There's Hardy again. Kind of a two-man game so far here for the, the Hornets. Nothing doing on offense. Spectacular defense here early on by the Eagles. A lot of pressure, and uh, Eureka not able to find anything inside, but there's a pass in the corner. Thought about a three was Tate Toffer, but he decided to pass it up. Now they look inside. This time is a nice pass as they got it inside there to Heinrichsen, but he wasn't able to convert. Now Harden with the drive for the Eagles up. A nice floater. Talon Harden with a nice floater, and here comes the press again by the Eagles. Eureka turns it over yet again. They lose control. That was Cooper Share losing control, but they're able to keep possession here are the Hornets. So we'll see what happens here on this out-of-bounds play. They get it up top to Schmidgall. Schmidgall gets it over to Hardy. Now in the corner, looking inside. That's Heinrichsen, thinks about it, and they dish it right back out. A three-point attempt by Toffer. Off the mark, rattled around, and now Johnny Jones bringing it down for Rantoul. Nice dish inside. That was Tanner McLean who couldn't convert as it was blocked away by the Hornets. Eureka now bringing it down the floor, trying to get on the board here, trailing six to nothing here, just two minutes, three minutes into the ball game almost. There's a jumper. This one it rattles around and falls. Good there for Cooper Share. He puts the Hornets on the board quickly the other way. I'm sorry, it's Talon Harden. Misses, but it's rebounded out of there. Now back out to Harden again. Now over to Johnny Jones. Jones is going to take a three. Rattles around, no good. Rebounded out of there. Nice rebound position by Schmidgall, and he'll bring it down for the Hornets. Hardy now at the top of the key. They get it to Topper. He thought about a three. Now he's dribbling around, looking inside there. Gets across the floor there to Hardy. Hardy now, top of the key to Toffer. He'll take another three, this one short. And then it's gathered there by Rantoul and it's thrown ahead to Jones and then an alley-oop. No good, a crazy attempt. That was Johnny Jones looking to the alley-oop to Cavante Williams, but they a little bit too high on that pass, weren't able to convert. So it'll go Eureka's way, 6-2, to two, 4 minutes and 16 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Thank you for joining us here on HSSportsLive.net. I am Chris Foster. We are recording live on the internet. And Kyle Hardy with a little bit of a fadeaway. No good. Now a quick pass up ahead for Rantoul. Gets it in the corner. Here's a three-point attempt. It is up, and it is good. That's Divine Thompson with a three-point shot for the Eagles, and that's going to force a timeout by Eureka as they trail 9-2. to two. They want to talk about it a little bit. So 9-2 to two here early on. Rantoul has four buckets by four different players. Talton Harden with a deuce. Kenyatta Wilson with a bucket. Devine Thompson just hit that three. And Cavante Williams has two. So balanced scoring here early on for the Eagles. 9-2 to two our score, just under four minutes here in the first quarter. Thank you for joining us, like I said, here tonight. Take a quick second to tell you about Pennant Wars. Pennant Wars will put you in charge of your own baseball franchise in an engaging online universe. Check out PennantWars.com. Go to hssportslive.net and click on the Pennant Wars logo if you'd like to try the game. Back to action here is Schmidt Gall at the top of the key for Eureka. Trying to draw a charge there. Didn't go for the Eagles. A drive there is there's number 22. That one rattles around. That was Cooper Share. Not able to go, but it's out of bounds to the Hornets. Schmidgall will look to throw it in for Eureka. He gets it up, but it's going to be stolen there by Devine, and then it's gonna be Talon Harden finishing it off. 
Good pressure defense by the Eagles. Forces another turnover, and we've got an 11-2 game. Looking to drive there. I believe that's Schmidt gall and he finds Toffer cutting into the lane. Now he gets it inside. Schmidt gall with a nice move. Phil Schmidt gall with a good finish, and it's 11-4. Up ahead quickly are the Eagles, but Devine Thompson unable to finish it. Now Eureka on their end looking to dig into this lead. Dribbling around is Connor Steffen, newly into the game here for the Hornets. Now Steffen's outside for a three. Now he's looking to go baseline. Now he's heading back out. They get it out to Toffer, who's taken three three-pointers here tonight. Made one of them. There's another nice drive there by Schmidgall, but not able to finish that one off. And now Rantoul quickly comes. Johnny Jones into the corner. Harden for a three off the mark. Rebounded out there by Tanner McLean as he comes up with it. Now another three-point attempt. Rattles around and no good. That was Devine Thompson trying to get another three to fall. As we approach two minutes to go here in the first quarter. In the corner there for the Hornets. That's Connor Steffen. Now a steal here by Harden. He puts it up and in. The defensive pressure continuing to get to the Hornets here. So that's six points now for Talon Harden here in this first quarter. Schmidgall nearly has it stolen. Now he gets it over to Steffen. Now he looks inside and goes off the hands of center Kent Heinrichsen. So 13 to four is our score here in the first quarter. One minute and 36 seconds left to go. Rantoul enjoying their home court so far here tonight. Johnny Jones bringing the ball up the floor here for the Eagles. Now he gets it over to Devine Thompson. Thompson looks in the corner. Newly into the game is James Coleman. Now he looks inside. That's Coleman with a little bit of a mid lane jumper. And Coleman knocks it down for his first bucket. Eureka quickly ahead. That one goes up. No good. Unable to convert that one with Cher. Now a little bit of a jumper by Jones. A three-pointer off the mark. Rebounded out by Eureka. Now the Hornets quickly back the other way. They get it back out. There's going to be a three-point attempt by Hardy. No good. And that goes out of bounds off of the Hornets. Under a minute now, 56.2 seconds left to go here. In the first quarter, Rantoul in control, 15 to four, as Johnny Jones brings the ball up the floor for the Eagles. Now he gets it over to Williams. Now back over to Thompson, now inside, a nice looking feed. A little turning jumper's no good there. That was Tyron White in the game for the Eagles. Quickly up ahead, Eureka unable to convert. Now here come the Eagles back the other way. Johnny Jones loses control, and now back the other way is Eureka, but they throw it too far, and it's going to be saved, but back to Cavante Williams, and quickly back the other way, Devine Thompson thinks about a three. Now they're going to slow things down. James Coleman with the ball. Under 20 seconds here, so Rancho will probably hold for the last shot. 15-4, to four, the score is there in control here in the first quarter. Johnny Jones looking to drive. Now he dishes it. There's a three-point attempt by Devine Thompson, no good. And then it looks like there might be a travel inside. That was Cavante Williams who came down with the rebound, but then he shuffled his feet. We got 1.3 seconds showing on our first quarter clock here, 15 to four, ran two on control. We'll see if there's any full court shot magic here, and it's no good. So after one quarter here in Rantoul, a Corn Belt matchup between Eureka and the Eagles from Rantoul. And the Eagles are in control, 15 to four. We'll be back in about Come one minute. to Rantoul. The Eagles in control as they lead the Hornets from Eureka, 15 to four. Thank you for joining us tonight here on our broadcast. Rantoul will start off this quarter with the ball. That's James Coleman. Now they find a uh, man in the corner there. Sorry, I don't have his number on my roster, so I apologize for that. Stolen away by Eureka. 
Now Schmidgall is going to take it down the floor, and he's going to look in the wing there for Kyle Hardy. Hardy looking inside. Now he hits Schmidgall. Eureka seems to try to run their offense through Schmidgall and Hardy as they have the ball most of the time in this offense. Very patient. There's a dish back out to Schmidgall. He's going to drive. This one is going to be blocked, though, but he drew the foul. Nice drive inside by Schmidgall, and he drew a foul. And he'll go to the line. Schmidgall, two points tonight. The other two points are Cooper Scher for Eureka. It's 15-4 to four here, just underway in the second quarter. We are broadcasting live on hssportslive.net. If you are having any problems receiving the broadcast, or if you have any feedback, just email us at hssportslive at yahoo.com. But it will be rebroadcast and posted on our website so you can come back and watch it whenever you want. So if you're missing it tonight or having any problems, it will be broadcast in its entirety and posted on our website so you can come back and watch it anytime you'd like. It's what we do here at hssportslive.net. Again, I am Chris Foster. Rantoul with the ball as Schmidgall knocks down both free throws. There's Divine Thompson on the wing, thinks about a three. Now in the corner, there's a three-point attempt. No good. Rebounded out of there, though, and finds a man inside, and it is up and good. Nice rebound by Kenyatta Williams and Tyron White able to convert for the Eagles. So now Eureka will try to Put some more points on the board here. Inside there, and Schmidgall is rejected by the Eagles. And then a drive there by, I believe that's Connor Steffen, and he was fouled. Or lot. Yep, the foul is on. So Eureka now will inbound the ball, 17 to six, our score. There's a three point attempt off the mark as that was Kyle Hardy trying to convert. Doesn't fall for the Hornets. Here comes Johnny Jones looking to drive. He's gonna do a nice little spin move and he splits the defenders, misses, gets the rebound, back up rejected. And then it goes out of bounds and I think we're gonna stay on the Rantoul side. But good defense by the Hornets there on the rejection. Talon Harden to throw in for the Eagles. Throws it in there up top to Johnny Jones. He thinks about a three, then he thinks about a drive. Back to Harden, he's gonna take a three, and it is off the mark and rebounded out of there by Schmidgall. And Eureka will come back the other way. Schmidgall now with the ball on the wing, looking to dish inside. Now he finds a man on the baseline, and there's a jumper that falls. That's Connor Steffen with a bucket for the Hornets. That's 17 to eight now our scores. Rantoul now with the ball here on our near side. That's Johnny Jones with a little fading jumper and it is good. Impressive looking shot there by Johnny Jones, his first bucket of the ball game. Schmidgall gets it over to, there's a drive by Toffer and he finds a man inside. That's Schmidgall, he gets it back out there to Steffen but it's knocked away and now Rantoul try to come back the other way. There's Johnny Jones. Leading the fast break here, and he goes by one man, and then he dishes it. Stolen, recovered by Jones. Now he's looking to set up the offense as they get it up to Tanner Talon Harden. Now inside there to Divine Thompson. And now a fight for the ball there inside. That was Kenyatta Wilson, I'm sorry, not Divine Thompson. Kenyatta Wilson and Connor Steffen tied up on the jump ball, and the ball will go to the Hornets. The possession arrow is favoring them, so they get the jump ball. Under five minutes to go here in the first half. 19 to eight. Rantoul in control here in Eureka, against Eureka. And now defensive pressure continuing. Connor Steffen unable to get the pass off and it was knocked away and then I believe a foul was picked up there by Connor Steffen. Probably a frustration foul there. Is probably a little frustrated that He's unable to get that pass to his teammate. So 4.45 now on our clock. 19 to eight is our score. Apologize for uh, maybe a little bit of uh, nasal, nasally announcing here as I'm fighting a little bit of a cold, which a lot of people are during this time of the year. Hopefully it's not too bad. Johnny Jones now with the ball. 
Gets it over, and now Talon Harden's gonna take a three, and then it's good. Talon Harden splashes that three in, and it's 22 to eight now in favor of the Eagles. There's Stefan now with the ball. He gets it over. Now there to the other side, as that's Tate Topper. Thought about driving. Now he gets it to Dylan Troyer. And then an out to Connor Steffen, who knocks down a three. Johnny Jones quickly with a jumper. It's no good. Rebounded by Eureka. They're going to slow it down now. Maybe look to pick up a bucket. They gets it over there. Inside to Cooper Share. But they're going to call him for a travel. Rantoul now bringing the ball down. Gets to Tanner McLean. Wilson thinks about a shot. Now he gets it back. There's a jump shot from the wing. No good. Kenyatta Wilson trying to score his second bucket of the night, but no good. And a foul inside on the Eagles. Tanner McLean called for a little bit of a push inside. The Eagles have currently doubled up the Hornets. It's 22 to 11 with 3.34 left to go here in the first half. Throwing the ball in here for Eureka's Tate Toffer. And he gets it to Stefan, who's going to bring the ball down the floor. Stefan now looking to start something. A nice looking drive to the hoop. Up, rattles around. No good. Rebounded by Eureka, though. And they try to dish it back to Stefan, but it's out of bounds on the Hornets. Good work inside there by Cooper Share, but then he was unable to find a teammate. Left his feet there and lost his dribble. And kind of had to try to throw it to a teammate in the middle of the air there. Now Rantoul with the ball. Kenyatta Williams with the ball, gets it across. Now to Talon Harden. Harden looking inside, there's a, back to Williams. Now there's McLean, he's gonna do a little baseline jumper. This one rattles around, no good. Rebounded out of there by the Hornets. It's Tate Toffer. Comes down with it. Eureka there. Trying to run some offense. Stefan with the ball. He gets it over there to Dylan Troyer. Now Phil Schmidgall with the ball. Now they got it up top to Tate Toffer. Back to Stefan. Now Schmidgall again on the wing. And Eureka throws it away yet again. So with 2.32 to go here, 22 to 11, Rantoul in control. Talon Harden with a nice first half as he's got nine points for the Eagles. They've got seven people that have scored tonight. And Johnny Jones with a drive and he goes up off the glass, no good, rebounded and knocked away. A nice block there as Stefan brings it down the floor and gets it to Schmidgall. Now Hardy back to Schmidgall. There's Stefan with the ball. Stefan looking for someone inside. He gets it inside to Schmidgall. Schmidgall's gonna look to do a little move in the lane and it's a wonderful move and a nice bucket by Schmidgall. 22 to 13 now the score. So that's a sixth point on the night for Schmidgall. Johnny Jones thinks about a shot then he does a step back. Now he gets it across there. And Tool trying to run, nearly stolen there by Kyle Hardy. Now a shot from the three-point land, that's the freshman, Kenyatta Cavante Williams, and it's no good. Rebounded by Eureka, but we have a foul inside. It's called on Connor Steffen, his second foul. Talon Harden comes in the game for Rantoul. He replaces Kenyatta Wilson. So Harden to inbound for the Eagles. And they get it up top. Now back to Harden for a, thought about a three, then drives baseline, a nice pass inside, and then he's fouled. Beautiful pass from Harden to Cavante Williams. That'll send him to the free throw line. Looking to add to Rantoul's nine point lead. 22 to 13 is our score. A minute 32 left to go in the first half here in Rantoul. Cavante Williams with one bucket on the night. 
Now he's got three points. And the lead is 10 for the Eagles. See if he can convert the second one underway, and it is good. Two for two for Cavante Williams, and it's going to be a timeout by Coach A.J. Richard from the Eagles. They lead 24 to 13 here with one minute and 32 seconds left to go in the first half. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. We're back here in Rantoul after the timeout called by A.J. Richard, the coach of the Eagles. Eureka now looking to cut into this lead before the half as they trail by 11, 24 to 13. There's Hardy with the ball now, and they get it to Schmidgall at the top of the key. Now Schmidgall back to Hardy, now inside. Back to Schmidgall. Patient offense here by the Hornets. They get it inside to Cher, and now back out. Schmidgall now crosses it back the floor to Hardy. Hardy and Schmidgall just kind of playing keep away right now, running clock. Maybe wanting to hold on to it for the last possession of the half. There's a pass inside to Cher. Schmidgall back to Hardy, back to Schmidgall. Back and forth they go here. We are now at 40 seconds to go here in the first half. Again, Rantoul on top, 24 to 13. A little bit of a trap there by the Eagles, but able to get the pass to Schmidgall was Hardy. Hardy back to Schmidgall again. Back and forth they go here. Clock now at 25 seconds. Here comes another trap by the Eagles. Schmidgall back over to Hardy. Under 15 seconds now. Hardy's going to drive, and he goes all the way to the hoop and scores. It took a while, but nice offense by Eureka as Hardy kind of caught him off guard, and he suddenly went to the hoop. Now a rebound after the miss there, and Cher's just going to let the clock run out. But Eureka, 24 to 15, cuts it to nine at the half. We'll be right back after a five-minute break here on HSSportsLive.net. Again, Rantoul leads Eureka 24-15 at halftime. All right, we are back here in Rantoul. Chris Foster here on HSSportsLive.net. Thank you for joining us here tonight for this broadcast. Rantoul leads Eureka 24-15 here as we begin our second part of play here tonight. Rantoul going to look to hold on to that nine-point lead. Eureka going to look to make a run here in the second half and pull out a road victory. And that's a good way to start as they get a steal there. Kyle Hardy will bring it up to the floor here for Eureka. The Hornets now looking to get into their offense. They get it over to Connor Steffen, who starts the second half here for Eureka after scoring five first-half points. Now they're looking inside for Shear, but then they decide to go back to the top of the key to Schmidgall. Gets it back over to Hardy. Hardy thinks about a three. Now he's going to dribble. Thinks about inside. He's going to drive. Dishes it out there to Stefan. Now inside there to Schmidgall. Looking to make a move. He does a little bit of a fadeaway, but good defense there by Rand Tool. And they'll come back the other way. Johnny Jones with the ball for the Eagles. Gets it over there to Tanner McLean, a running little floater. Fell short for McLean. And now Stefan will bring the ball up for Eureka. Back over there to Hardy. Hardy looking inside. He's going to drive. Now he dishes it to the Schmidgall. Back across the floor there to Stefan. Stefan looking inside there. Nothing doing, and they'll get it back to the top of the key to Hardy, who goes over there to Toffer. And then Toffer's going to be fouled by Talon Harden. Got a little bit too excited there. Got his hand caught in the cookie jar to Talon Harden. So 24-15 to 15 here. Nobody scored here in the second half. 6-24 on the clock. We are broadcasting live here on HSSportsLive.net. Eureka versus Rantoul. Inside there, Schmidgall, a nice reverse... Layup attempt, but just didn't fall. And now Johnny Jones will bring it up the other way for the Eagles. Quickly up and does a little fading shot. Tried to draw some contact, but it didn't get the call. And it's going to go back uh, Eureka's way. Good sportsmanship there by Schmidgall as he helped Jones get up. as a trap there. Now back over to Schmidgall. Now to mid-floor there. Now they get it to Stefan. 
Stefan's going to wait for Schmidgall to come back now. They're going to reset the offense. Now Hardy with the ball. Hardy's thinking about it. Now he's going to drive. He's going to do a little jumper in the lane, but they're going to call a foul inside. I believe that's going to be on Johnny Jones, they call on him. That's his first foul. So Kyle Hardy will throw in for Eureka. He gets it in there. They get it back up to Schmidgall. That's Stefan, I'm sorry. Now back over to Hardy. Now Schmidgall gets it out to Stefan. He thought about a three. Now he's going to drive, picks it up, throws it up, and it is no good, but they call him for a travel. One too many steps there for Stefan. Nice, aggressive move for the basket, but just took one too many steps, and it'll go back to the Eagles. Quickly down is Harden in the corner. Jones now up to Tanner McLean. Now back inside there. This one way off the mark. That was Kenyatta Wilson. Now Schmidgall bringing it down for Eureka. No score so far here in the second half. Eureka still down by nine. Hardy with the ball. Gets it up to Schmidgall. Now over to Stefan. Stefan thinks about a three, but then he gets it into Schmidgall. He's trapped, double teamed, back out to Stefan. Now it's going to be Hardy who's going to drive, turns, dishes it back out. Stefan now picks up a pick from Scher, but wasn't quite able to get up. Now Schmidgall gets it over to Hardy again. Very good patience here by the Hornets, trying to get a good shot here. Dig into this nine point lead that the Eagles own here on a Friday night, very cold Friday night here in February. Hardy now on the far wing, gets it to Schmidgall. Schmidgall is going to drive, and then he dishes it out. That's Toffer now back to Schmidgall. Schmidgall's thinking about a move. Now he's going to throw it back out again, and there's going to be Toffer for a three off the mark, rebounded by Schmidgall with a fake back up. No good, but he draws a foul. So quite a long possession for Eureka, and good work on the boards there by Schmidgall, and it'll end with him going to the free throw line. Here trying to dig into this nine point lead. 24 to 15 again, our score. Four minutes and nine seconds to go in the third quarter. And Schmidgall is gonna look to cut this nine point lead down to seven. The first one is no good. The foul was on Kenyatta Wilson. That's his second foul. Schmidgall gonna try to knock down the second, and that one's too long as well. And then a rebound inside by Cher, but they're gonna call him for a push. So it's gonna go back to Rantoul. So a missed opportunity there by the Hornets as Schmidgall was unable to convert on a couple of free throws. So the score remains 24 to 15 here. Uh, we've played four minutes here in the second half, and there's our first bucket as Johnny Jones knocks one down for the Eagles. It's 26 to 15 now the score. Hardy gets it up to Toffer. Now Eureka will set up their offense again. Toffer on the wing. This one's going to be stolen there by Tanner McLean, and he goes up off the glass and scores. Aggressive defense there by Tanner McLean. 28 to 15 now as this score is up to 13, and then a quick pass inside to Schmidgall and a bucket for Eureka. Quickly down is Rantoul, off the mark, rebounded out of there by Eureka. They're gonna get it up ahead. And a little bit of a runner in the lane is no good by Stefan and Johnny Jones quickly bringing it back the other way and he gets tripped up. That'll be a foul on Eureka. So Rantoul now. Three-pointer in the corner is good. That's Johnny Jones. Knocks it down for the Eagles. Now they've got the press on again as all of a sudden this lead that was nine is 14 as it's 31 to 17. Stefan looking to drive, then he dishes it back out right to James Coleman of the Eagles. He's going to drive down. Nice scooping layup, and it is good. That's going to be a timeout for Eureka. As our score is now 33 to 17. The Eagles on top of the Hornets. We're gonna take a quick break and be right back here on HS Sports Live 
Net. Back here in Rantoul, two minutes and 35 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Rantoul led by nine at halftime, but they have extended that now to 16 as they lead 33 to 17. They have outscored Eureka nine to two here in this second half. Eureka now trying to break the press that has worked pretty well tonight for Rantoul. And they get it there to Hardy. Hardy up there to Stefan, now over back to Hardy. Hardy looking to, now they get it over to Schmidgall and a nice pass inside. Sorry I missed that folks, it's a beautiful pass by Schmidgall getting Hardy on the cut. Wasn't able to convert but Hardy will go to the line. This will be the best way for Eureka to score here. The clock has stopped, but they're going to need to knock him down to make him count here. And way short there is Hardy. That's three consecutive missed free throws now by the Hornets. Schmidgall missed two just a minute ago. And now Hardy way short on that one. The foul was on Johnny Jones. That was the second he'll leave the ball game right now. As we've got Jacob Moore newly in the ball game here for the Eagles. And that's who ends up with the rebound. And he gets it up ahead there to Talon Harden. And then in the corner, back to Harden. Harden now will set up the offense for Rantoul. There's a Divine Thompson now in the corner with the ball. Knocked up in the air by Hardy and recovered there by Dylan Troyer. And Eureka will bring it back the other way. I think Hardy picked up another foul there. That was on, that was on Jacob Monroe who just entered the game here for the Eagles. Hardy gets inside to Schmidgall. He's gonna do a nice little turning hook shot, no good. Schmidgall pretty smooth around the basket though. He's made some nice moves tonight. Talon Harden drives and dishes and it's gonna be a three point attempt that is good. Divine Thompson knocks down the three. That's his second three pointer of the night. Rika again dealing with the press. Stefan now with the balls. He's going to look to set up the offense for the Hornets. Gets it over to Hardy. Now to Schmidgall. Back up. Now Stefan looks for Schmidgall inside. He's a little bit of a double team by Rantoul. Schmidgall dishes it back out to Stefan. He's going to take a three. No good. Rebounded inside though. No good as it was blocked away. Good work on the boards by Heinrichsen, but he was unable to convert. Now Talon Harden drives for the Eagles up off the mark and it's gonna be rebounded out by Schmidgall and he was fouled there, it looked like over the back on the Eagles. <laughs> 36 to 17, our score, Rantoul in control here at home against Eureka. 12 to two, they've outscored the Hornets here in the second half, it was 24 to 15 at halftime. Now we're at 36-17, and Antoine looking to add to that as we approach 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Talon Harden just going to be patient. Dribble it out. He gets it over to Thompson. They're going to play their own little game of keep away like Hardy and Schmidgall were doing at the end of the first half for the Hornets. Under 20 seconds now. Divine Thompson dribbling the ball. Now he's going to look to drive. Goes the other way. Now he finds Harden on the baseline. He's going to think about a three. Then he dishes it across. It's going to be a three-point attempt by Coleman. No good. Rebounded out by Hardy. And he dishes it all the way down. And it is no good. And that's how we end the third quarter here in Rantoul. The Eagles in control as they lead the Hornets 36-17. to Welcome back to action here in Rantoul. The Eagles in control as we start the fourth quarter. They lead Eureka 36 to 17. Eureka starts off this quarter with the ball as Kyle Hardy gets it to Toffer, now to Schmidgall. Hardy runs around the floor and gets it on the other side. There's a three point attempt by Toffer. Off the mark, rebounded by Schmidgall. He's gonna look to drive, a nice drive to the basket, but a little bit too hard off the glass and rebounded out of there by Rantoul quickly ahead. And that is a basket there by Divine Thompson. Quick work by the Eagles there on the, off the rebound. Nice look by Johnny Jones. Now Eureka trying to get something going here. 
Now down 38 to 17. Nice look inside. Topper with a nice pass there. And then a nice fake and a nice basket there. Good work inside there. That's Kent Heinrichsen with his first basket of the night. And Tool now on the offensive side looking to add to their lead. 38 to 19, they lead Eureka. Devine Thompson thinking of driving. Now he gets it over to Tanner McLean. Back over to Johnny Jones. Jones now comes off of, uh, and it's gonna be a travel there on Jones. So 38 to 19, our score, six minutes and 29 seconds left to go here in our ball game. Nice pass inside to Heinrichsen. He goes up off the glass and scores. So back-to-back -back buckets here by Heinrichsen. 38 to 21 now as Rantoul scored a couple buckets in a row. Now Rantoul's just gonna run some clock here, play a little keep away. Tanner McLean with the ball, he gets it over. to Devine Thompson, who's dribbling it around now. Now he gets it to Johnny Jones. Jones now. Looks to drive, and he's gonna go all the way and then dribble it back out. Wasn't a lot of resistance there inside by Eureka. Now they get a steal, though, and there's gonna be a foul. Looks like on Rantoul, maybe Tanner McLean. That was actually on Johnny Jones. That's his third foul. And that'll put Eureka in the bonus, and Schmidgall will go to the line. They haven't had good luck at the line tonight as Eureka's missed their last four free throws. 38-21 to 21 our score. Schmidgall trying to cut into that. He's got eight points on the night. This one is off the mark again. The one and one is no good. No bonus for Hornets, and that's five consecutive free throws missed by Eureka, and then a foul there by Hardy. Actually, they're gonna call that on Jones. I believe that's an offensive foul. Maybe got, a, got his arm extended and pushed a little bit. So Hardy will bring it down here for Eureka. Gets it to Stefan. Another foul on Rantoul. Kenyatta Wilson this time, that's a push. At the line there, shooting a one and one. It's Dylan Troyer. This one is off the mark. So six consecutive free throws now missed by the Hornets, missing an opportunity to claw closer to the Eagles. There's a three-point attempt. It is up and short. No good. Rebounded out of there. Now Talon Harden with the ball. Gets it over there to Thompson. Now he's being trapped. Gets it back to Harden. Harden now thinking about driving, and he goes up, dishes. He got it over there to Kenyatta, Cavante Williams, but it looks like a charge called, or a traveling evidently on Harden. So we're under five minutes now, 4.51 to go in the ball game. 38 to 21, our score, Eureka. Trying to draw closer here. Here's a Stefan with the three-point shot. That is good. So a little bit of a run here by the Hornets. They've scored seven consecutive points and it's 38 to 24. And this one nearly thrown away, but Rantoul maintains possession. Johnny Jones with the ball here on the wing and he's thinking about driving. Now he stops, picked up his dribble and it's gonna be timeout by Rantoul coach A.J. Richard. So we've got four minutes and 18 seconds left to go here in Rantoul. Eureka trails 38 to 24. We'll be back in just a minute. We're back in Rantoul. 
Talon Harden knocks down the three out of the break. Back up to a 17 point lead now, 41 to 24 after that big bucket by Harden. That's a way to come out of a timeout there. That's the 12th point on the night for Harden. He had nine in the first half. That's his first bucket here in the second half. But it was a big one and it's 41 to 24 now with four minutes to go here. There's a drive on the baseline, knocked away. That was Talon trying to get the baseline layup there, but no good. Hardy now with the ball for Back over to Stefan. Now Hardy thinks about a deep three. Gets it over to Schmidt Gall. Now to Hardy. Hardy's going to take a three, and it is good. Nice shot there by Hardy. 41 to 27 now the score with 3.37 left to go. Eureka's going to take another timeout, and we'll take it with him. They trail by 14 with under four minutes Back to go. here in Rantoul, 41 to 27 our score. The Eagles leading by 14 with three and a half minutes to go in our ball game. Rantoul led by nine at half. And they open it up here in the third quarter. Now Eureka trying to claw back a little bit here in the fourth quarter. They're down, down by 14. Some pressure defense here by Eureka. Johnny Jones nearly lost it. Then he gets it to Divine Thompson. Thompson gets it up there to Williams. Now over in the corner, that's Talon Harden, and he knocks down the three. Big three-point shot by Talon Harden. That's two three-pointers in a row for Harden. And now Eureka finds himself down 44 to 27. There's another three-point shot by Toffer. Rantoul quickly brings it down. Johnny Jones dishes it out to Harden. He nearly loses it. And a foul down there. Two forty-eight now in our game, 44 to 30. Rantoul up by 14. That three-pointer by Harden gave him 15 points on the night. Toffer's three gave him three. That's his first bucket here. They get it in there. Now's another three-point attempt. This one is no good by Johnny Jones, but rebounded inside by the Eagles, and it is good. Kenyatta Wilson doing work down inside, and that'll up the score to 46 to 30. So the whole new set of players here for Eureka. And Coach A.J. Richard from Rantoul is going to follow suit. As Kenyatta Wilson will go to the line. 2.39 to go in the ballgame. Rantoul in control, 46 to 30. We'll do our best to get you all the new players as we get back to action here. Here's Wilson. He's got two points on the night. And it's good. Make that five points as that was a three point play by Wilson. So 47 to 30 our score. And bringing the ball down here for Eureka's number 23, Lucas Zimmerman. He throws it in the corner and un off the hands there of Jackson Ricky. So 232 now on our clock. Ran tool and we'll bring it back the other way. In control up 17. Brian Hunt there with the ball. He gets it over to Josh Oliveris. Oliveris throws it on the wing there to Monroe. Monroe's going to take a three, and it is short off the mark, but saved by Oliveris. They're going to say he jumped on the line, though, but good hustle there by Oliveris. 2.07 now on our game clock. 47 to 30, Rantoul in control. As Eureka brings it down, that's number 23, Lucas Zimmerman, again bringing it down for the Hornets. He gets it over there to uh, Brandon Getz. Now over, that's Lane Fowler. Zimmerman now at the top of the key with the ball again. He's going to look to drive. Gets it over to Ricky again. There's going to be a three-point attempt there by number 20. He knocks it down. That's Zach Minger with the three-point shot. Now under two minutes. We have a minute and a half to go. Rantoul. Quickly brings it down. Oliveris now at the top of the key looking to drive. Loses control. That's Minger who just made the three who comes up with it for the Hornets. And he'll quickly come around the other way. He gets it over to Zimmerman. And this one rattles around no good. And it's rebounded out of there by Jacob Monroe. Monroe loses control. And they get it inside there. Rantoul 
Gets it back over. The jump shot is up and rattles around. No good. Rebounded out of there by Zimmerman. Zimmerman gets it over to Ricky and now inside to Minger. Back out to Zimmerman and now Ricky with the ball. Under a minute to go here in Rantoul, 47 to 33. The Eagles on top. Looks like they're going to pull out this victory here against the Hornets. Zimmerman now at the top of the key is going to look to drive. And it's going to be a charge as Olivares picks up a charge. Good job there on the defensive side of the ball. 36.4 seconds now to go here in our ball game. Olivares, who drew the charge, will bring it up the floor for the Eagles. Now he throws it in there. That's Monroe with the ball. He gets it at the top of the key, a three-point attempt. Off the mark and rebounded out of there by Rantoul, and it's going to stay on that side. That was number 35, Alex Vermillion, on the three-point attempt. So 20.3 seconds now on our clock. This game about to end here in Rantoul. They get it inside. Gets it out to Vermillion again. Olivares is going to take a three, and it is no good. Rebounded out of there by Zimmerman. He's going to look to bring it down quickly. Nice find there on the wing. Back up top for Ricky. Now over there. It's Vermillion, he's gonna take another three. Not Vermillion, I'm sorry, that was, that's the Rantoul side. That's gonna be it here from Rantoul. The Eagles defeat the Hornets 47 to 33. That last shot was actually Brandon Getz. We'll be back with just a minute with our totals. Welcome back to Rantoul. We're gonna wrap things up here on hssportslive.net. I hope you enjoyed our broadcast. Remember, you can tune in anytime if you'd like to watch the rebroadcast of this game. It should be posted by tomorrow, so you can watch it anytime. After that, Rantoul wins this one 47 to 33. They moved to 12 and 10 on the season. Real quickly, we'll go through the totals. Uh, 15 points for Talon Harden. Devine Thompson finished with eight. Johnny Jones was seven. Kenyatta Wilson had five. James Coleman had four. Kevante Williams had four. Tanner McLean had two. And Tyron White had two. That's the scoring on the Eagles side for Eureka. Schmidgall led the way with eight, and Stefan also had eight. Kyle Hardy had five. Kent Heinrichsen had four. Tate Toffer had three. Zach Minger had three. And Cooper Scher had two. That adds up to 33 for Eureka. So again, here on HSSportsLive.net, I am Chris Foster. Thank you for joining us. Our final score here tonight, Rantoul 47, Eureka 33.